And here we go for episode number four. Uh, well, let's see where we left off. I was a level two, only eight health. At 838 experience. So I need about 522 to get up to 1360. I'm using a two-handed weapon um, at 50. I have a bow. I'm at 85 on archery. And we just found out where the tournaments are at. Um... I have 167 dinars, but we invested in wine, which will we paid under 200 dinar dinars each bo uh, each bottle of uh, grape juice, <laughs> and then we'll sell it for over 200, hopefully, to make a little bit of money. So it's more valuable in the game to invest the money as you move from city to city and sell them than it is just to leave the money. Uh, we, have, we got extra inventory slots. If you look at the character sheet, we put one into inventory management to have the extra space uh, so we can do things like that without concern and have more booty uh, from our wins that we can store in there. So the goal early on is to make money and to improve one's skills, which is one of the reasons I keep on reading the experience and proficiencies uh, because I expect the skills to increase. So let's head for Uxkal where the tournament is at. We can get renown there. And um, we can develop skills and experience in tournaments. Uh, I believe you get relations with the king if you win and with the town. And uh, you can get dinar, uh, dinars if you win the tournament. But at first, I'm not going to put money down on the tournament. So I would just win a little bit if I won the tournament. Um, I won't start doing that until I start beating at least eight to ten people in the arenas or winning or until I start winning tournaments. Oh, there's no tournament here. All right. Well, first, let's check the marketplace and see uh, here we cannot sell um, the wine uh, for over 200. So it's not worth it. 41 for bread is not too bad, but I only have 167 dinars right now. So I'm not going to use that. Oh, yeah, wait a second. Um, instead of the bow being first, let's put the, um, the axe first. And now... Let me save that, that setting. Remember, I'm OCD about saving. All right, and let's go to the tavern. Now, if I cycle the mouse wheel, the weapon is the first one cycling the wheel up. If I cycle it down, so up, then up again, then up again. So I'll switch between the bow and the axe, cycling it up. The axe first. It's the watchman. Sometimes there's people upstairs. We're looking to see if there's any ransom brokers here, since we have one prisoner. And unfortunately, they do go in the rooms. And that's why I'm checking the rooms. You will find people upstairs sometimes.
In a moment, we'll go fight in the arena. That should give us some experience. Enter the arena. Oh, the door is locked. Um. Let's look for looters to fight, meanwhile. And maybe if we can buy grain for... Oh, it's daytime. Let's go back. To the arena. Uh, he says I'm new here uh, and asks me for my name. The tournament master does. So I tell him I'm Tanmora. And he says, well met. I am the master of the tournaments here at Uxco. Talk to me if you want to join the fights. Uh, and he says, what would you like to do? And I said, about the melee fights. And uh, he says, there'll be a fight soon. And I tell him that's what I'm going to do. Oh, bows. So I will... And he knocked me out. Lovely. Let's, um, he says, haha, quite a bruise about the melee fights, and I'm going to try again. Now I have a sword. All right, we got two people this time instead of one. Notice I've improved my proficiency with the weapon. Uh, so he said, you managed to take down two, not bad, but that won't bring you any prize. Now, if I were you, I'd go back and show everyone what I can do. No, because I know part of my problem, if you look, I only have 13 health. So one hit and I'm down. But my two-handed weapons is now at 51. Uh, do you remember what my experience was? I'm at 854. I don't know if I got any. Oh, you know, we need to ask that guy where the tournaments are at. Oh, the tournament. All right, let's go. Join. Fight in the next round. Let's get out of there. We'll get better. Now the arena. Let's find out where the next tournament is at. Tier Kudan and Wurchag. All right, those are the other three places that the other guy had told us. So we will head over to one of those. For another tournament. Let's see. What's closest? Um, Tier Kudan or... Uh, let's go to Tier. Um, yeah, I think Tier will be the closest. We'll stop off at vill uh, Villages. Let's see if we can buy cheap food. And if there's any um, good people to fight along the way, we'll keep an eye out for that as well. Which is why we're not using the, what is it, control space? Um, buy supplies. Cabbage, 29, not too bad. And also we're healing while we're traveling. So if you, if you look, um, well... I should be healing while we're traveling. We're heading to Tyr. 
Next stop is Ryablet from Ibrian. Forest Bandits, 13 of them. Uh, our priority is going to be tournaments right now, although if we can get some of those people on the way, we will. 12 is really good for grain, so we'll take that. Olives here are 67. So that was in Ryablet. Now we'll pass by Jelbegi Castle and go to the town of Jelbegi. So we're also looking for people to fight. I'm up at 35% now. So my hit points are going up. Now we're more likely to encounter issues in the dark. Let me save it under battle. I notice people ambush you in the dark more often. Buy supplies. Beef is 90, bread 73, grain 28. Remember we got... Uh, the grain for like 10 or 12. So, and the wool cloth here is 350, which is expensive. Leave. Um, I'm at 26 on troops. I plan to stay there for quite a while while we work on improving our ourself. Uh, let's stop at Hain on the way, H A E N, on the way to Tier. Oh, there's Ramoon, the, the, um, we can sell this guy in the tavern, so we'll do that. All right, at Hain, supplies, for, there's cheese for 48, cabbage for 18, that's good, we'll take one. Notice it gives plus two to party morale, uh, each of these things, and plus five from the dried meat. Chicken here is 95, and cheese was 48. If you look at the party, um, the morale, it says here, is above average. I'm at 41%, by the way. Uh, reports, party morale, 63. So part of that, um, on the party morale report, food variety is plus 13. So the way we got above 50% is simply from the variety of food. And we selected cabbages, which were cheap, but they give plus two to party morale. Grain, which was cheap, which gave plus two. And we started the game with the dried meat, which gives plus five. Okay, now we're about to go into tier. And there's a tournament. All right, here we go again. Let's try this tournament out. And when he, sh when he shoots, if you move just before he shoots, he'll miss you. I delivered 12 damage. Okay, not bad. Let's try the next round. Coming around the outside where there should be less people. 
to attack me? He got me. Alright, I've been eliminated, but I think I did a little bit better in this one than I did in the previous. So every time we do a little bit better, let's go to the tavern. Wandering Ashik, watch, oh, let's, just in case somebody attacks us. Borcha. Um, he's an M, uh, companion, but I don't think I'm going to recruit him. Bunduk, I don't think I'm going to recruit him. Ramoon, we'll talk to him. And um, we ha we'll have a quick conversation with this guy. And I brought Ramoon some, a prisoner, looter. And actually he pays more for looters than other people. Now the marketplace, 171, still not enough. They charge 215. Salt, 232, tools, 438, too much. Cheese, 74. Fish, 50, we're looking for it 30 or under. Fruit, 44. Cabbages, 30. So you know we got all this stuff cheaper. Now, uh, let's go fight in the arena since the tournament is over. Uh, another, he, they say pretty much the same thing in each arena that I'm new. And I tell them I'm going to fight in the arena. Where... There's the guy. Uh, we're gonna try again. Right now my hit points are so low. Goodness, are they all attacking me? Why are they all chasing me? Goodness. Ridiculous. Let's try one more time. Keep fighting. That's what champions do. Yes, that's what champions do. We will just keep trying. Why are they both coming here? I got one. All right. Hey, you managed to take down one opponent. Not bad, but that won't bring you any prize money. Now, if I were you, I would go back there and show everyone what I can do. Will there be a tournament in nearby town? So now they're in Kudan and Warcheg. So let's go there. Have we made anything? Well, our experience is 906. So I believe it's gone up. Okay. And we sold a guy here so that uh, we should be able to move quicker. When you have prisoners, I believe you move slower. All right, what's closer? Wurchag has Sea Raiders near it. Um, let's give uh, Wurchag a try. So we'll head in that direction. While I'm heading to these tournaments, 
you will notice that I'm now at 46%, so I'm going up. I'm gonna, since it's kind of a long way to go, I'm gonna skip uh, the stops at the villages. So I'd, I think we have enough food right now. Uh, let's stop at Fanata though. Uh, raw silk 678 is not too bad. Wool cloth 350 is a lot. We move slower at night. Our rate is 2.9 uh, right now. Hopefully we'll be in time at Wurchag for the tournament. Uh, there's a, b a bunch of them. They must be going to war. Which means they will not... Oh, Kingdom of Vagers. I wonder if the Vagers and... Yep, this is under siege, the Nords. Uh, and those people we saw riding away were the people that had it under siege. 11 Sea Raiders. Whew, you think we can handle that? Let's do it. They're moving at four. We are moving at 3.4. So unless we pin them up against the coastline, we're not going to catch them. I will drink from your skull. You will drink from my skull. All right, now Sea Raiders are some of the toughest, but they have some of the best equipment too. I'm not afraid of you. I'll fight, Ten Morris says. Now we're going to F1, F1 when we go into the battle. And then we're going to um, hit 1 for the infantry and F2, F1 to move the infantry up ahead of any of the crossbowmen. All right, so charge the enemy. F1, F1. Then 1, F2, F1. And we have some crossbowmen. We will wait till they begin to cross. And, uh, Zero, F1, F3. others and he's killed by the spearmen all right we lost some tribesmen but so out of we had three killed and two wounded 11 of them were killed we got five renown and six more rounds all right, now let's look at the equipment here. Let me uh, 
move the grain up here. Keep the food up at the top. Put the grain on the top row. 36 body armor, 3 leg armor. I have 24. So I will put the 36-3 up here. 22-8 is probably better than 24. 20, I often add the 22 and the 8 together, so it's like a 30 total body armor. So that's definite improvement. Throwing axes requires power throw 3. Large bag of arrows plus 1 to damage. Helmet plus 25 versus my woolen cap plus 6. So you see much better. Nordic shield. And now I'll remove the axe and I'll put the sword up there now. This hat's plus 22. So we just upgraded our equipment by quite a bit here. The Nordic Shield has 440 in the amount of damage it can take before bursting, a resistance of 1, size 100, speed 100. So that is pretty good. Now, let's see. Our inventory, we have 360 dinars. So I think under... The notes, let's see, game log, recent messages. We got 186 dinars from that battle, five renown and six morale. To understand how the renown, if we go to the party size report, right now, um, we're getting zero troops party size from Ren Renown because we have a Renown of five. Once we get that up to 25, for every 25 points of Renown, I believe you get one additional person on party size, and there's various ways to increase Renown. Um, also, if we go to the party... Go to Ralph, who's at forty-eight percent. We talk to him. We look at your his equipment. He has no helmet on, so now we can take this helmet that's plus twenty-two and give it to him. Now he has his leather jerkin is plus twenty-three, plus six. Um, these are plus twenty-two, plus eight. So. I total 22 plus 8 is 30, while 23 plus 6 is 29. So I put the Nomad vest on him instead of the jerkin because I feel like that is... I only lose one from the body arm, armor and gain more to his leg armor. When he's on a horse, that will be more important. Now, he's using a one-handed sword, but he has no shield. So now we'll give him a shield... Now, do you know if his power throw is three? No, it isn't. So, and actually, if let's give him the large bag of arrows because we may decide to, um, and I'm going to keep the barbed arrows because they're plus two. To, well, um, There's 30 barbed arrows versus 34 in the large bag. That's not that much more, and these are plus two each. So I do eventually will want, I'll give him a bow to use. So I'm going to let him hold those arrows. Mm, what was his skills? He has power draw zero. Power draw... Um, affects what kind of bows he can use. Um, now the Rodox Spearman 
I can upgrade two of them. Notice the weekly cost goes up as I upgrade them. Okay. Um, and we will move those trained spearmen towards the front. The Rodok crossbowmen, I'll, each one that I upgrade, you see it's 70 dinars a week. Now it's 76 dinars a week. So and I'm going to upgrade those. Now I have five crossbowmen. I don't need any more. I have two spearmen, and that's it. So I will upgrade three of these tribesmen to spearmen and move those up to the front. So five spearmen and five crossbowmen. And at 97 dinar a week, and I only have 230 right now, I think that's all I can afford. The rest will have to... I'm not going to raise their level right now. And now let's go to Wercheck and see if we can sell the stuff and compete in the tournament. Meanwhile, I'm still healing. Eight sea raiders. That is not many. That is tempting. They're chasing the farmers. Let's think we can get them. They're 5.8. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to get them. Um, actually, we'll do the tournament in the next episode. Um, right now, we'll go to the marketplace, trade with the armor, sell the armor that's left over. 64, 72, 5, and 1. That's 142 dinar. That's enough to pay for the troops for a week. And with the arms merchant, I'll sell the axes. Hopefully, we'll get more of them later. And everything else. So that's another 146. I could probably upgrade more troops. What do you think? Trade with the goods merchant. Salt 155. Uh, generally buy salt under 150. Fish 38. I'll get one. I'll, uh... Let's get three. As long as... No, generally we like to get fish under 30. So we'll just get one for our troops. Cabbages, 30. Fruit, 44. Bread, 52. And we will pick up from here in the next episode think we're making some progress we're doing better in the tournaments um, and that would be episode four